Alright, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create our project. Um, and then import all of the necessary external resources that I use for this, which isn't much. So let's start. Create new project, set the template to 2D. And system tutorial, name it however you like. Just choose where you want to save it. I had great project. Now the three main resources I'm going to be using from this or for this tutorial are this reorderable reorderable list created by Fauston. Um, I'll provide the links in the description. It will help us uh, create our uh, achievement database and allow us to move and rearrange the items in the database. Then we also, I mean, you can use this Roboto font just to make some things look better. I'm also going to use this uh, material design trophy icon for the achievement icon, which you're free to use whatever you want. And I uh, also have a little GIMP, GIMP file where I just created a white circle. And again, I'll provide links to all of these resources. Um, all of these are pretty self-explanatory, except maybe the the list. If you go ahead and just click download the zip file, save it, and then once it's done, open up the zip file. Inside of it, you'll find this list folder, and that's the only thing we're going to need. So if we go back to our project um, and open up the zip file and just drag and drop the list folder into our assets, we're done with that. We can go ahead and uh, rename this to reorderable reorderable list and now I'm gonna go ahead and create my folder structure this is mainly personal preference but this is what I found to work the best for me so I have a root projects folder inside that I'm gonna have a scenes folder that's also underscored so it's easy to find then I'm gonna have a couple other folders prefabs because you're always going to have prefabs, same with scripts. Then we have some sprites that we're going to import. We're also going to import um, that Roboto font, like I said. Fonts. Then we're also going to have um, some animations. And let's see, what else am I missing here? Yeah, we need a folder for our editor because we're going to write a little editor script. And a data folder. And that's where we're going to store the actual database at. Now that we got the projects folder set up, we can go ahead and import our um, font. So if you go ahead, download the font off the website, and then just drag the extracted zip fo file into the fonts directory you should now have Roboto and all of these fonts next let's grab our um, sprites again I'll provide the links for those you just select them and then drag them into our sprites folder and now here's a little bit of an important part you want to go to the circle sprite um, go to sprite editor and you want to create some um, edges to it so that the sprite can stretch and create a little rounded corners. The sprite is 250 or 512. The size is 512 by 512. So we can just make it 255 by 255 and we'll have like a one pixel line in between. Hit apply. And then the other important part is we need to change this pixels per unit to 512 so that it matches the size of the image. And uh, the last thing is let's go ahead and create our UI canvas and set that up. Um, I prefer to use a scale with screen size and usually 1280 by 720. And once that's done we're ready to start working on the system so 
See you in the next video.